Hi pearls and gems, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to bring you guys a huge empties uh, video. First I'd like to say Happy New Year's to everybody and I hope you guys are starting out on a good note and I hope you guys have already established what goals you would like to reach for the year 2018. 2017 went by so so without further ado, you guys, I'll go ahead and show you guys the products that I ran through for 2017. So we're basically saying goodbye to these products. Some I will repurchase and some I won't. As we go through each product, I'll let you know which ones that I will and which ones that I won't. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you are updated on future videos and you stay up to date to with regards to giveaways and other little things that I have going on. I have two major projects um going on right now with myself that I can't I can't wait to share with you guys at a later date. And I have a slew of other items and things that I want to show you guys with regards to new items that I've added to my collection. I have up to date uh videos with regards to my hair. Um, as you guys know, I'm doing a protective style right now because I am relaxed, but I want to get you guys um, up to date with where I am with regards to my hair care goals and my hair regimen. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into this empties video. So the first item that I have is this um, Eco Styler. It's for all types of hair. Ideal for hair colors maximum hold control this is good if you're doing like a updo um style and you just need um a light hold this is alcohol free and it is yeah again good for all hair types and hair colors the smell on this is pretty decent it's not too strong it has a nice um almost like a it's not really a chemical smell i would pretty much say that it's a soft chemical well not chemical, a soft, like floral, almost like scent, but not too flowery. So, finish with this. Um, I will repurchase this because I really did like um, that it wasn't rough on my hair and it doesn't contain any alcohol. The next um, hair item that I have, I was sent this um, total repair kit and it had samples inside. I went ahead and purchased the, um, the kit. So, I am out of the... Well, I have just a little bit left. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Repairs up to one year of damage, deeply conditions and reconstructs. So it's really good for, chemi for dry, chemically treated hair. So this is something that I tried out. And it's almost, this one right here is a, basically like a leave-in conditioner. Conditions after using the shampoo. Wet hair massage and leave three to five minutes to your inside. Yeah, so it's a it's a, it's a condition it's a deeper conditioner than the actual um conditioner um that it comes with. So it does come with and it does come with the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Restoring Shampoo. And this one rebuilds, strengthens vitality, silkness, and shine. You can it says you can it's safe enough to use every day. And this one is a total repair, extreme reconstructing, deeply penetrates the shaft. So I'm not done with these because it's quite a bit in those, but I am pretty much down to the bottom with that. That'll probably be one more last application. So just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. The next item that I have with regards to hair care is this Garnier. Frutista Damage Eraser Heal and Seal Treatment 60 Second Rinse Out. This has a uh, card carotene complex and it also has butter. It's a synthesized it synthesizes over damage. It and repairs damage. It seals to help block future damage. So this is a really good butter um, to add to your hair regimen if you um, don't mind using um, it has alcohol in it but and I know a lot of people are really big on that so if you're really big on alcohols then this might not be something for, for you. Me, it it's a this is one item that I will see my I can see myself I can see myself repurchasing. I really like the way it felt on my hair, and I really like the way it glide on. Um, it felt so good. Um, and my hair did feel moisturized. The next item that I have is this uh African Pride Leave-In Conditioner Hair and Scalp Strengthening Tectonic Um Ancient African Recipe. 
It's a light feathery weight, miracles guaranteed, so it says. Um, and it just looks just like so. And this is for dry hair. You can use as a daily treatment, work from hair from root to ends, leave in. You don't have to rinse it out if you don't want to. This is the last hair care, and I'm done. So the last item for hair care is the Briogeo um, Don't Despair Hair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. And I know you guys know I did a <laughs> specific video geared towards this. I got this one sent to me in conjunction with, with utilizing this product. I was also sent um, an additional one. This one I got from uh, Influencer, and this product, um, the Burial Geo Don't Despair Deep Conditioning Mask, I got in a boxy charm. So now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one all up, and then once I'm done with this one, I am going to um, happily repurchase this. So definitely love the Burial Geo products. So you guys know I did an individual uh, video on these. These are basically self-explanatory. Everybody knows I love this the Miracle Oil, Marula Oil, and this is the Cocoa Milk Moisturizing Body Wash. So those are those two. Um, I am also out of the small size like this, which I think my husband already threw it away. He is so excited about this video, you guys, because things was just all over the place. I am also out of the Silk one that I utilize. And I know you guys are wondering why I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not inside of makeup, and I did treatments and stuff on my skin. And that's mainly because I just came out of surgery, which is what kind of took me so long to get back to making the videos. I did leave that in a previous video to let you guys kind of know that I would be away for a while until my final surgery was complete. So that's why I'm not wearing any makeup. I am, however, wearing a gloss on my lip. And this is just the um, Victoria's Secret Shimmer um, Gloss that I'm wearing. Usually I wear my MAC glass, but today, for the sake of the video, I just, it was convenient in my purse, so I just threw that one on. Okay, so we got hair out the way. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to, we got lotions, powders, wipes, face wipes, and toothpaste, and things of that nature. So you guys know I was sent uh, some body scrubs by... I want to say SM. What is the name of those? Girl, sent me the butters. Oh, I, I had the name on here too. Anyway, I did a personalized video for her of this body scrub. And this is the Rose. This one had, this body scrub had, well, it was a hand scrub. It wasn't a body scrub, but it's a hand scrub. And it had roses in the inside. When I say my husband, my husband loved it more than I did. So, and then I she sent me a cheat day. So, that one was really good. So, I'm finally done with those. I think I just finished with As them. with any scrub, it should. Um, oh, I thought I was out of hair care products. And I have another hair care product, which is the Lottie Body Co with Coconut and Sea Oils Texturized Style Me Setting Lotion. I mean, guys, I love this um, styling lotion. I usually um, couple this with a leave-in conditioner. So after I'm done washing shampoo and everything, I spray this on with a leave-in conditioner. And then I just flat iron my hair out because it's also a built-in um, heat protecting leave. Well, I think I, this was the one I have to actually add a heat protecting with. Yeah, this may be the one ready to use, formulated, no mixing necessary. Apply to damp hair and comb through blow dry style or roller set when hair is fully dry style is desired yeah so I think I actually um depending on what type of leave-in conditioner liquid leave-in conditioner I pair with this um if it has a heat protecting in it then I don't have to but if it doesn't then I just add that step in but with regards to this I'm all out and I would definitely repurchase that again I love that on soft silk wrap look um, the next product is the Feminine Wash um, Sensitive Intimate uh, Intimate Formula. This is compared to the Summer's Eve, I believe. Um, both, I think, work pretty much the same. Um, 
I purchased these wipes and I had them in all types. This one is the vitamin C cleaning tissue. And it feels like I got oh there these I thought one's dried out. I had one I had one left and it's all dried out. But um these vitamin C and then I had other ones like this. And these are really relatively inexpensive. They are hypoallergenic, won't clog pores, and moisturized skin, oil-free, safe for lens, contact lens wearers. Gently wipe face and body. And that's kind of why I like that these because you can use this for your face, your neck, and everywhere else that you want to kind of feel a little bit more uh, moisturized or whatever. And I really do like these. Um, I wanted to try them out to just kind of see um, what they would feel like. And I did pick these up from BJ, BJ's, I want to say. Big lots, big lots. I did pick, and I picked up several packs of these when I was in there um, a while back shopping. So this was just the vitamin C one that I am out of. And I like these and definitely will repurchase those. Um, these feminine wipes right here, they actually come as a two pack. So this two pack right here, uh, these are flushables. So you can kind of, um, they're small enough to go into your, they're not too bulky. They're small enough to go into your pack. You do get three in the pack. They will last you depending on how you use them. If you use them every day like I do and you load them inside of your purse, they'll probably take you way through the month. So I would say you'll purchase these and they're about $3. So a dollar each pretty much. And they're really good. They are flushable. Um... Um, the next item I have is this Epsom salt. Love Epsom salt. I love to soak in this. Well, my feet, rather. Um, for toothpaste, I do enjoy using the Arm & Hammer uh, baking soda. And, yeah, baking soda peroxide. So, love to use these. And I have some other ones that I am trying out of being repurchased. The next item I have is the Nair face cream, the Nair moisturizing face cream. Love that. We'll repurchase it. I already made a separate video about this. This is the Pink Grapefruit Donahue Restorative Mash Restorative Facial Cleansing Wash. So definitely love this. Again, I did a separate video specifically for this. I think I have a little bit left, so I'm going to go ahead and use that little bit um, corner because this is just that good. The next item I have is the um, Cocoa Butter. Like this. Definitely will purchase it, of course. Um, the Marula Oil, you guys, again, this is just a hand wash. Next wire. product I have is the um, Mac, uh, Fix Plus, really love this, love it for moisturizing my face and intensifying my eyeshadow. The next item I have, I pretty much use this, um, for my son's skin, because he had really bad eczema for my baby son, and, um, he has really sensitive skin as well, has a really bland, original, really unscented smell, so... We definitely uh, worked our way through that. So, definitely like that for the kiddos. And this is the Eucerin Original Healing Cream for dry skin. So, definitely love that for his sensitive skin. I don't know about you ladies, but if you burn between your legs when you walk or run an exercise, I like to use powders. So, I was using the Original Gold Bond Relief Powder. And this worked really well, so I decided to go ahead and purchase the gigantic version of it. And so that concludes this video on the empties that I had for this um, past few months. Um, I have more, of course, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a blessed new year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.